It was all part of uh, your week leading up to the game at this, uh, well, the start of the season really. You would try and start the season injury free, but with rugby being so physical and uh, you picking up little, little knocks here and there during the season, it was about uh, how, you, um, how you controlled those injuries and got yourself fit for the, for the Saturday for the game. Uh, then it was how you recovered from uh, the game with your, with your ice baths, uh, made sure that you had good sleep during the week. And, um, but there wasn't a lot of uh, my career that I didn't have injuries. Uh, it just didn't stop me playing. So um, it was just making sure that you were on a good diet and you, and you um, recovered well. And that was a big part of getting yourself ready for, for game day. We were, we were sport because we had physios and, and, and masseuses uh, around us 24-7 uh, if we wanted them. We had all the facilities and um, now they're, they're even better uh, for the boys who were, who were still playing. Um, but it was making sure that when you were given the option, because some, some clubs I played at it was optional to have a massage, but for me it was a big part of my recovery or getting ready for, uh, for the game. And listening to, to the advice of uh, the physios of being regiment with the, the rehab um, uh, exercises they gave you um, and make sure that you stick them uh, part of the, the recovery. That's most probably harder than the actual injury. Once you know that you're injured and um, you've got this long off. I was, I was fortunate when, when I was playing, I most probably had 11, 12 years where I, I only had maximum of four weeks off. I never had any real big injuries, maybe a couple of broken bones, dead legs, but nothing that needed a big operation where I was out for six months. So I was lucky in, in that respect. The, the hard, hardest thing for me was um, when you weren't playing, somebody else was, and they had the, the, the opportunity to, to take your place. And uh, yeah, that was the, the more difficult thing for me of uh, um, when, when can I go back on the field? It's most probably control the controllables. You're, you're injured for that period. Don't beat yourself up and not worry about it too much. Um, like I said, stick to the rehab that you've been given and trust the methods that have been put in place for you and you will get better. The body's an amazing uh, thing. It recovers very quickly, uh, uh, but you've got to put yourself in the best position to be able to, to recover um, and not, not dwell on it too much because that can be uh, bad then all over. I was lucky, I had 11, 12 years with no serious, serious injuries. My last but one injury was, I snapped my tricep uh, in my dominant tackling arm and popped my shoulder in the same uh, accident. So they put my shoulder back in, reattached my tricep, uh, was out for five months with that and they didn't operate on my, on my shoulder. I came back for that and was um, playing really well for most probably about 18 months. And then my last game, I popped my shoulder again and snapped the tendon on my forearm. So they reattached the tendon on my forearm. Three months later, went back in and did my shoulder, which I thought was going to be a, a simple reconstruction. But it, uh, it ended up, there was nine separate, could have been nine separate operations in my shoulder just from years of wear and tear. And uh, he said, uh, I, I couldn't carry on. Um, he said, if you were number 10 and you could hide from, uh, from tackling, then maybe, but the only thing I was good at was tackling. So I had to, had to retire sadly. Whilst you're playing, you've got a team around you that care for you and put a system in place of how to get back on the pitch. Um, my contract was at, at the end in, in France, in Brive, and I didn't have that support network around me. So I wish you guys were, were around then. And I found it difficult, even with my contacts, um, to find somebody who was right for me to get me um, and my shoulder back to not normal, but to have a, a normal, strong life uh, uh, after that. 
So um, it took me around six weeks to find the right person uh, after the operation and then we put a plan in place to, to be able to, to get it to, back to good use. I think it's great for, for, um, for people like me who, who know about their body, how to, to rehab and everything like that, but it's still the right person for the right injury to get you back to um, living a, a normal life. Uh, but there's people out there like my brother who's who just had a meniscus uh, knee operation, a uh, clean out in, in his knee and he hasn't got a clue with regards to what he needs to do to get back in the gym to do his three sessions a week. So if you've got somebody who specializes in different areas of injury and can point you and rehab you in those, in those areas, it's perfect and um, I think can help a lot of people out there. After rugby, uh, it's taken me six years to, to get to where I am. Uh, I'm a founder of a company called Hub15. We turn uh, a new sports stadium into co-working community so people can come to these great stadiums, work from there, network with like-minded people and from that there's going to be referred business to whatever service you offer. So we're at our second hub now here in Sophia Gardens in Cardiff. Our first hub is in Bath Racecourse. Uh, and we've got lots more opening uh, around the country and hopefully then around the world.